Hey guys, uh, Mr. B here again, bringing you another uh, awesome math video. So this one uh, closely related to the last one that I just posted on uh, the definition, sorry, on the proof of the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So we're going to prove this guy, d over dx, e to the x, so the derivative of e to the x is equal to e to the x. So in the last video, I did it using the definition, or sorry, logarithmic differentiation. In this video, I'm going to use the definition of derivative, or a limit proof. So, of course, you remember that uh, the definition of derivative is f prime of x is equal to the limit, and I use as h goes to zero. Some people might use delta x or delta h. I just use h. It's easier for me to write than delta x, uh, especially when I'm doing it on the iPad here. Um, of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So my function in this case is e to the x. So what I have is uh, the limit as x h goes to 0, sorry, of e to the x plus h minus e to the x over h. So what I can do is I can break this up a little bit because I have this exponent x plus h. So remember, if you're adding exponents, what rule is that? Well, that rule is multiplying power. So e to the x plus h is the same as e to the x times e to the h. So let's do that. Limit as h goes to 0 of um, e to the x times e to the h minus e to the x all over h. So I'm running out of space here, so I'm just going to flick to the next page. I'll rewrite that step. Limit as h goes to 0 e to the x times e to the h minus 1 minus e to the x, sorry. There we go. All over h. So I've broken up that x e to the x plus h into e to the x times e to the h. And now you can see I have a common factor in the top, e to the x. So I'm going to take out an e to the x. So the limit as h goes to 0 of e to the x. And I'm left with e to the h in the first part, and then minus 1 all over h. So this e to the x, since I'm not taking the limit with respect to x, I'm not really doing anything. This is not going to change. So I can take that right outside. e to the x is right outside there. And I have the limit as x goes to 0. Or sorry, h goes to 0 of e to the h minus 1 all over h. And this is one of our special limit definitions that we need to know. So the limit... Well, that's messy. That's horrific. Uh, the limit... Here we go. So maybe I won't hand raise as h goes to 0 of e to the h minus 1 over e to the h is equal to 1. So what we can do is replace that whole thing with 1. So I'm left with e to the x. So I just proved that d over dx of e to the x is equal to e to the x. So using the limit definition. So guys, I hope this video helped. Um, again, one of the most important things for calculus is to remember that you are responsible for knowing proofs. So um, this is one of those proofs that get asked, gets asked a lot. And if you're looking for the logarithmic differentiation version, you can. Um, I'll post one of my. I'll post a little card at the top so you can click on it if you want to. Right about now, and um, you can watch that one as well. You can pick pick which one you want to do. I would recommend knowing both. Keep doing questions. And uh, hopefully uh, this helps, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. See you guys in class.